No more salutation, squaddiest families. We need to come up with a, oh my days, bruv. Oh, I hate my barber so much. Howdy, partner. No. As you can tell by today's video, we're doing a thrift haul and I'll be doing like a little evaluation at the end, but because of like clickbait, you already know how much it's all gonna be, but stick around anyway. But before we get into that, this whole video is gonna be a little bit of a mishmash, just cause I've got a few things I want to say and sort of like push and extend the video to 10 minutes for that added ad revenue. Anyway, first thing I wanna get out of the way is I have a brand new song. Finally, Ken Kyle has released more than one song on Spotify. It's on there right now, it dropped at midnight. So if you wanna check that out after the video, there will be a link in the description down below that will just take you straight to the song. Put it in your playlist, tell your friends, tell your friends to tell their friends, tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their nans to skank on the floor to this song. Also, I am taking submissions for Sick Fits episode two. So if you wanna get featured in the next video, then send your outfit to sickfits at outlook.com. And if you want to get featured on the Instagram page in the meantime, then just tag sickfits. Follow the page, do the ting, bish, bash, bosh, techie promos. And that's pretty much everything I have to plug at the moment. Now, moving on to the pickups, big man. This is internet show and tell. So today I'm going to split this video up into two sections. One is like the latest pickups that I've just failed to show recently. I've just appeared with new clothes and just didn't tell anyone. And then we're gonna move on to the thrifts that will eventually make it onto the Depop page as soon as I, you know, get my life together. You've waffled for too long, big man. What is up with the hand movements? Let's just move on to the latest pickups. This is something that I recently got, like literally yesterday. My friend bought these and he was nice enough to hook me up for retail. For those of you gassing, thinking like, oh no, he's got like the Travis Scotts. No. I'm a little bit late to the party, but I don't care because I think these are super sick shoes. These are the Nike Air Force One black skeletons. I've got the perfect fit in mind for them. And I think these can easily be worn outside of Halloween. They're just so fresh. Next thing that I've got, you've probably seen in the background of these videos is this Pumba found him in a charity shop. And if you open his mouth, you can see what's hiding under his tongue. Oh look, it's a couple of bugs. He smells all right as well. I don't know why I sniffed him. So he lives there now. You'll see him in the background of the video. I might get him some friends. We'll turn this into a real Ryan's toy review. Also, I've got this Pink Floyd vintage jumper from 99 Vintage. In fact, you're gonna hear about a lot of stuff I got from 99 Vintage. But this is the first thing I obviously wanted to point out just because like, you know, I'm wearing it fashion. Pink Floyd and the Pink Floyd logo on the bottom there as well. Rub your tummy. But it's a really nice fit. It's a mad story as well. When I did that, I made 500 pound thrifting today video. Someone watched that, went to 99 Vintage, sold them a bunch of stuff, including this jumper, which I just so happened to go back there and pick this up. I don't know, man, that's just a small world. It just comes full circle. So let me just show you the rest of my brand new vintage wardrobe. Firstly, I've got this vintage Eagle t-shirt. You may have seen me wear it in previous videos. It's super sick, look at that. Eagle noises. Madness. Then we have this Terminator t-shirt from Universal Studios. The T-800 never looked so good on a t-shirt. I told you I'd be back. This is super, super wavy. Next up, we've got a 1994 Bikers t-shirt, remember? I've just got a thing with Eagles at the moment. I think Travis Scott has proper converted me into like being a bird lover. Got some dates on the back there as well. Next up, we've got this 1992 Hanes t-shirt. It's an all over print of like people who are fishing, I suppose. Very, very wavy at the front there. And then it sort of goes around the back as well. So it's an all over print. And the last thing that I got from 99 Vintage is in fact this Mickey Mouse jacket. You've got some leather sleeves and some really, really nice detailing at the front there as well. Like authentic Mickey Mouse, not to be mistaken with all of these forgeries that you've been seeing. And on the back there, you've got Mickey Mouse, a very, very wavy piece. This has actually been my go-to jacket this winter. Now we have a bunch of stuff that I've thrifted, but I've like kept for myself and like stuff that I've bought online as well. For example, this Halo 3 t-shirt, I got this on Depop, very, very nice seller. Next, we've got this USS Guam University t University t-shirt, um, souvenir t-shirt, anniversary t-shirt, that's what I wanted to say. A Doobie Brothers t-shirt, found that at a charity shop as well. On the back, we've got all the tour dates, and yeah, 
More eagles. I flipping love eagles. I just want to be Travis Scott so bad. Next, we have a Monty Python side of life t-shirt. I got this from eBay for like a tenner. There are some really, really decent things on eBay, so have a look there as well. This isn't a thrift find. The only other update to my wardrobe is like another hoodie, Ohio State. I put this on my story and bare people were like, oh, when are you gonna sell that? Da -da 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 -da. How could I forget? I almost forgot. I found this Hugo Boss extra large leather jacket. Look, you've got that Hugo Boss stitched logo there as well. Got the Sherpa. This is the waviest as jacket ever. I've worn it like once with this actually, surprisingly. It's just a super nice jacket. I don't know how long I'm going to keep hold of it for though because it's definitely time to let it go. You know, you've taken the Instagram picture, it's time to move on. And that's it for the wardrobe. Smash like! Aren't you just totally amazed of what you just saw? Prepare yourself! Is that just one bag of vintage thrift finds? In the last ones you had like five bags. What is this? Is that Minnie Mouse, big man? Courtesy of some rando charity shop that thought it would be funny to give me a Minnie Mouse bag to carry around town, but ha! This doesn't threaten my masculinity. I actually don't care. Minnie Mouse is okay dick anyway. Down to the thrifts. A New York giant scarf. Perfect for these winter times. Bought this on eBay for like a tenner. The secret of Blue Water. Yes, the shopping center, not the anime. I'm already thinking about summer with this Parity Aloha shirt. Don't call them Hawaiian shirts. That's cultural appropriation. We've got another Hawaiian top. The store is going to be popping next summer. I, I am actually sitting on like 20 shirts just for festival season. Another festival shirt. This one's actually really cool. It's got like kind of a map of the world around it. I don't know if you can see that, like my exposure is too high. I don't know, Pam. And all this time I was just building you man up just so you can see the best ever short sleeve button up shirt you're gonna see today. Look at that vintage anime style shirt. This is from Blue Ink, which is like um, a high street store, but it must be from like the early or mid 2000s because you will never find this in Blue Ink unless they do like a mega shutdown liquidation sale, which probably isn't too far away. What's on the back you may ask? Some funky Shadow Realm patterns. It's kind of like, actually, that reminds me of PewDiePie. Oh, PewDiePie hit me up to buy this shirt, you know, tee -hee. Next, we've got some polo t-shirts, so it wouldn't be a sick mate thrift haul without the Umbro t-shirt. Got a little England and Nationwide logo there as well, just to prove that nothing is sacred and everyone needs sponsors. I've got two t-shirts from the Madison Square Garden opening in 2013 when they reopened it, I suppose, and I'll just show you one. So it must be when they did the refurb. Why does it smell like soap? But this one's a mad one. This isn't going on the Depop page. I'm just gonna hold on to it for a little bit. Just because if you think about it, there are all these iconic t-shirts that are in charity shops right now. They're not worth anything at the moment because they've literally just happened. But in about 10, 20 years time, if you hold on to them, then maybe they'll be worth something. Plus it's good to hold on to a little bit of like recent history as well. The garden transformed. We've got like a, a kid sized Giants jersey. Who's on the back you may ask? It's Manny. I don't know who that is, but maybe you do. Oh, we're already at the t-shirts. This is gonna be a short video. So we've got a couple of Oakley t-shirts. Oakley isn't anything special, but I just see them constantly in charity shops. So I thought I'd give them a punch just to see what they're saying. Here's the second one in all of its Oakley glory, if you can call it that. Let's just move these out of the way. I've got like an early 2000s Route 32 Iron Brew t-shirt, a Prometheus t-shirt, an underrated alien movie, a Marilyn Manson 2007 tour t-shirt. How do I know that? Boom. Just look at the back, big man. All of the information is on there. Next, we've got a Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat Comic Sans merch, but it's a pretty cool shirt printed on screen stars. Is it double stitched? Trash. Next, we have a Musical of the War of the Worlds t-shirt. So this must have been on like other Broadway or the West End or something along those lines. What? Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings. Is that Gollum? You big nerd. Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. It's a pretty wavy t-shirt. It's like a newer one, I suppose you call it. What year are you, my guy? You don't even have a, actually you do. MC, M M I I I. That's 2003, right? Quick close up of that one. Come on. That's a complete madness, you know. Oh, what? You hate it when YouTubers like proper fake acting excited. They're like, 
oh my god you guys like oh my god this is like so amazing like oh my god i wasn't expecting this hercules 50th anniversary shirt not the greek mythology god but it's more like a plane next we have a t-shirt which i personally think is really really cool a glastonbury 2000 and three t-shirt just look on the back here to see what kind of bands played in glasto in 2003 all of the classics all of you boomers must be drooling at the sight of such names as radiohead macy gray the darkness and moby next up we have a south park 2006 t-shirt kenny in a top hat big man come on that's just like the ultimate flex cancun mexico t-shirt got a big print on the back there very very nice went to mexico and forgot to pick up some merch oh, i'm your guy canada vancouver t-shirt vintage perrier drink t-shirt this is actually really old it's yellow i can see the yellowing from back here a vintage cruise t-shirt see like on the back there you've got their exciting journey that they did back in the 90s probably club le santa lanzarote Printed on screen stars. How old are you, my guy? I love these old graphic t-shirts. Just because they're highly slept on as well. Like nobody wants to pick them up because it's not like Nike or you know YSL or anything like that. So they just get left and I just love them. I love how old the t-shirt is and I love the content as well. Like whatever. Some Reebok t-shirt. Ooh, with that embroidery on the Union flag. Very, very wavy. An Umbro t-shirt? Oh, cool, yeah, I remember this one. So I picked up a Uniqlo Cause t-shirt. It's not vintage, but it does have Big Bird with the Cause cross out eyes. So that's really, really cool. Remember the last video I did, I found the exact same shirt, but it had Arsenal written on it and it was worth like a hundred pounds or whatever. Now, imagine I found more or less the exact same shirt. It just doesn't say Arsenal on the front but it's a Nike Premier drill top shirt from the 90s. It's still got the tags, got a big massive Nike logo on the back there. And of course, practically identical on the front, just with the lack of Arsenal branding. And you've got the tag there as well. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that heat, bro. Next up, we've got a Canada hockey jersey. I just love finding stuff like this. It's just so unexpected and you wouldn't really think to pick it up anywhere else apart from a charity shop so here we just have those opportunities to find something a little bit different a little bit new but there that is and last but not least for all of you 90s kids that want to relive your childhood i suppose there's a kicker's jumper every single kid in primary school and sometimes secondary school everyone had like kicker's shoes you know, the ones with the green and the red tabs. So relive your dreams of going back to school. <laughs> yeah, right. And those were all of today's thrifts. Now in order for this video to make any sense with the title, let's evaluate all of these items and see how much it's worth. Let me just get my super professional evaluation device out. Where is my phone? Oh, I forgot I threw you on the floor. Mad, do you ever just do that when you go on your phone to do something and then you just end up on Instagram for about half an hour. Okay, so now I'm going to reasonably evaluate these clothes. Basically how much I would want for them on Depop. Like I'm not gonna go crazy and be like, oh, this shirt is worth like 50 quid. Eh. If I was gonna sell any of these today, it would probably be the parrot shirt at 15 and that brings us to an even 500 pounds so everything you've seen today has a combined total of 500 pounds clickbait complete so that was today's trip to the thrift i say it like that let me know in the comment section which one of these thrifts did you like the most what item caught your eye and was like oh my days that's just that's low-key fire you know also if you liked anything from my wardrobe let me know again ken kyle the saga is out on spotify right this very second sick fits is open for submissions fam it's all kicking off can we get some chit in the chat can we get some f's there's a severe lack of f's in the comment section you know shake my head smh smh big man say whatever you want in the comment section i read every single one so let's converse if you like this video then give it a like if you dislike this video then give it a dislike sad times if you like what i do here and you want to support the channel then please consider pressing that subscribe button and that little bell icon if you want to get notified when i upload a new video you guys are the best thank you for watching my video bye
Start of a saga, broken, beaten, left back, came back, heavily armoured Taking the names of cynical skeptics and my list has never been larger Revisiting my life and realise my timeline has never been darker Rinse off negative energy, I'm a bad man, so not a big fan of karma Turn the tide of these ocean flows and leave my enemies mortified Tyrants hide behind castle bricks, we conquer kingdoms 